Today I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the uh, Noto update running on the TELUS Optimus 7 and uh, this is uh, not yet released but um, using uh, this um, Chevron WP7 updater app that was released um, today uh, by one of the hackers that initially made the jailbreak for the WP7 platform. Uh, this has been updated to basically pull down the update from Microsoft servers and then apply it to any phone, um, bypassing your carrier update. Um, so this worked. It updated really well. I would have liked to show you the process, but it really was just a command prompt. And uh, I just want to show you quickly, um, you know, one of the uh, the uses in action. So let's... Um, Let's go for the main event here. Let's go for copy paste. So let's try this. The good old hello world. All right, so I want to copy this. And what I do is I hold down over here until the cursor appears. And then I hold down on the word itself. Okay, so you want to just kind of hold for a couple seconds underneath the word. And then you see you have these little cursors here and you just drag all the way there. So you can only copy um, individual words or multiple words, but not individual letters. So once you've highlighted the phrase that you would like to copy, you just press this little button up here and then you can scroll down Oops. and so that's that. Uh, it's pretty simple. It works pretty well. As I said, it doesn't use, uh, it doesn't allow for individual letters, but mostly you're going to be uh, uh, copying whole words anyway. And this is going to certainly uh, increase your workflow if you do a lot of typing on the uh, Windows Phone platform. So again, um, another quick thing I wanted to show you was uh, the increase in application speeds. Uh, the launching. So let's load up something like the Weather uh, Channel app. And there you go. So it loads pretty quickly. And I, I found it's a little bit smoother, but you know, that's hearsay since I have uh, haven't used this phone for a while. But it is a little bit smoother and it, it really does uh, show that Microsoft is working on the performance aspect of the platform as well. Uh, you see uh, changes in the way that they um, also use um, restores. So, for example, if I launch uh, TuneIn Radio here, So let's load Toronto's very own U of T's uh, radio station. And you can increase the volume. Alright, so there we go. Now this will work with the screen off. And it will just restore back, which is pretty neat. But uh, it does not support multi um, multitasking, unfortunately, background play. So another uh, app that I wanted to show you uh, with the restore feature, this is the uh, Birdsong Twitter app. So that loads pretty quickly. And it's pretty smooth, actually. Can't really complain about that. And what I did want to test was its restore speed, because that was one of the uh, more uh, aggravating things. So 
So there you go. I mean, there there is no restore anymore for some apps. Um, some apps still require restore. So you go to Bees, which is another Twitter app. Okay, so this is my timeline there. See, it stutters a little bit, but uh, again, not too bad. So when I turn off the screen and I get back in, there will be a resume process, but it's pretty instantaneous. So a lot better than it was, certainly. And uh, I don't think performance has suffered at all in this in this uh, update, I actually think that they've improved it quite a bit. So, the other thing that you know we we were expecting was a, a better marketplace experience, and uh, certainly it looks like they've done a couple things to improve it. The interface looks the same. But I wonder um, if they've broken them down into categories. So let me let me search for cat. I'm assuming I'll get I love Katamari. Yep, there we go. And a lot of other apps that uh, have that word in the description. And there you go. So it doesn't look like there's much improvement, but uh, certainly one of the main uh, features that I found to be quite frustrating was when you have a trial app you can't update it you actually have to uninstall it and then reinstall it with the updated version I believe that is fixed I don't have an app that needs updating to try it but I'm assuming that it is fixed um, so this certainly is still a very usable platform and you can see that um, you know it's it's an attractive device um, and uh, this is going to be released on TELUS fairly soon. Uh, the update, that is. The Optimus 7 was released at launch in October. But uh, it still shows that WP7 is a viable platform, and a lot of people are still developing for it. The number of apps is uh, increasing uh, very, very fast, 1,000 a month, apparently. And uh, the quality of the apps is also increasing quite quickly. So uh, don't count Microsoft out just yet. So this is just a quick overview of the Nodo uh, WP7 Windows Phone update for the Optimus 7 on TELUS. Thanks so much for watching.